Now to North Carolina, where President Biden will visit Asheville today to tour the devastation from Hurricane Helene. That community was hit especially hard by flooding last week. At least 57 people were killed in Buncombe County alone. And nationwide, the death toll stands at 159. There are dozens of search and rescue crews on the ground, and hundreds of people are still missing. We talked to a North Texas couple that decided at the last minute not to visit their vacation home in North Carolina last week. They just found out last night their home has received very minimal damage. And while they're relieved they weren't there for the floods, now they just feel helpless. Our plan is to go back as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe, as soon as we're not taking gas away from people who want it, and as soon as we're not taking water away from people who need it. Now, videos like this from North Carolina are shocking. So many people are wondering how a flood like this happened during a hurricane hours from the coast. Our meteorologist, Mario Ruiz, is joining us now. And Mario, this actually isn't unheard of, although for us, we always think about what's in the storm's path. Mm -hmm. It just seemed to stretch so much further. It did, and it was actually a couple of different events that happened all at an unfortunate time, Dia. And, and this is pretty much the setup. Do you remember last week we were talking about that front that came through? Well, that front ended up stalling to our southeast. It brought us dry weather, but it actually kept a lot of moisture across areas of the southeast. And because it stalled, it just kept regenerating this rain over the same area. So this is what's called a PRE. And, and let me show you what that means. So we had this stalled front. Ahead of this was moisture that was being picked up from the tropical cyclone Helene. At that point, it was a hurricane. That moisture interacted with that stalled front and it kept just saturating the area. This was days before this even made landfall. So as it made landfall, then it slowed down and it stayed over the same area, bringing in that heavy rain. Like I said, it's called a PRE or a predecessor rain event, meaning that it rained for days before that tropical cyclone even made it to that area. So the area of heavy rain that's just north of a tropical cyclone, that's what classifies as, as a PRE or predecessor rain event moisture from Helene interacted with that front ahead of the landfall and that just led to days of rain and flash flooding and because that warm Gulf water was trending two to four degrees above what's considered normal Helene was not only a strong hurricane but it kept a lot of moisture in its atmosphere because of how warm the air was not just right above the tropical cyclone but within it so a lot of different factors that led to that devastating flooding along uh, the east. Kara, over to yeah, you. We appreciate the perspective. A lot of insight there. Thanks, Marielle.